Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about a TV show. We're going to talk about a TV show called Yellowstone. Now, I have watched every episode of Yellowstone except for the, the very, very last one. I haven't seen that one yet. Um, and the, the reason I haven't watched it yet is because of what happened on Twitter. Now, if you don't know, this show, it's really popular among people who sound and look like me. But it did that thing where it it suddenly went woke from out of nowhere. So I didn't watch that last episode because it went woke. It introduced an, a, a, a character that's an animal rights activist. And that's just, you can't do that. Not in a show like that. If you want to introduce an animal rights activist, you want to make sure that your audience is prepared for that. You have to have a whole bunch of social commentary throughout the entire show. You can't just spring it on them out of nowhere. I mean, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about what it would be like if you were getting your audience ready to have a woke topic thrust upon them. So you're talking about up there in... Up there, huh? Up there in Yellowstone. Okay, so what you would want to do is make sure that you do a whole lot of shows that highlight uh, the lack of social safety nets for orphans because they often end up as, as ranch hands. You'd want to do that. And while you're doing that, you could also highlight the failing juvenile justice system. And since you're doing that, you could probably highlight the entire criminal justice system and all the issues that there there is with that. And you could talk about the prison system and how people who are getting out of prison, even if they want to walk her away, that maybe because of a lack of opportunities, they end up working at a ranch where a whole bunch of people try to push them back into crime. That could be a thing. And since it is located where it is, if you want to get people ready for woke topics, you have to talk about the struggles that occur on the reservation. You got to talk about the res. And while you're doing that, you should probably highlight the... Uh, you know, the widespread issue when it comes to missing indigenous women. Maybe have an episode about that. That'd be a good idea. And since you're doing that, you should probably also talk about race in general. Perhaps you could have a college professor, let's make her native, and uh, you could take the, take the show into her classroom where they talk about history and they discuss race in a pretty critical manner. That would, that'd be a good idea. Um, and since you're talking about race, you should probably talk about law enforcement and perhaps the way a lot of justified shootings are actually completely unwarranted. Maybe with a kid that was about to put his gun down, that'd be a good idea. You get him ready for woke topics by doing stuff like this. And since you're talking about police misconduct, you should highlight other kinds. Perhaps parallel something that occurred in Baltimore to Freddie Gray using a cattle trailer. You'd want to do that too. That'd be... A, probably be a good idea. But you don't just want to stick to race and social issues. You probably want to talk about gender equality as well. So maybe make sure that the toughest character on the show is a woman and go ahead and talk about the objectification of women and highlight that by introducing women to the bunkhouse to cause a you know, a whole bunch of issues among the men who suffer from toxic masculinity. And because you're doing that, you should probably also have a character who's doing something just to prove that he's a man and joins a sport where you normally just end up with a bunch of broken bones and belt buckles. That would be a good idea, too. That would help get the audience ready. And since you're talking about all of this stuff and talking about male and female relationships, you should probably also maybe make sure that all of the leading characters are like very openly in favor of having a lot of choice when it comes to family planning. That would, that would that'd be a good idea. And all of this is really political. She should probably have somebody run for political office, but since it's a red state, you want to make sure that they run as an independent. Big, big, big good idea. That's all to get people ready to have an animal rights activist character. So you should probably have something about animal conservation already, perhaps through a storyline involving the natives, or maybe talk about how ranchers use the deprecation program and kind of abuse it and say that wolves attacked their cattle when it wasn't their wolf, it was them with a weed whacker, and perhaps they could hide the weed whacker in the barn, and that could lead to the unjustified shooting. Be a good idea. You could do it like that. Now, luckily, Yellowstone didn't do any of this. You know, Yellowstone isn't, they're, they're not woke. They, they don't make social commentary at all throughout the entire show in literally every episode. Um, 
Now, just to further drive the point home that this wasn't a show for MAGA people, understand in the universe of Yellowstone, it's already an accepted fact that the ranches have, have their own gun thugs. They have their own their own goons, the men who wear the brand at Yellowstone, right? There's probably other ranches that have the same thing. So you have a ready source of, of tough guys that the bad guys can use to go after the family. And since it also did the totally unwoke thing of highlighting how people who had substance issues, even after they clean up, they still have to deal with a lot of their past, and it already framed the fact that there's a whole bunch of uh, illicit substance production in the area, you also have that criminal element that you could tap into. But that's not what happened, is it? When the villain, whoever it was at the time, whether it be the hedge fund owner or the equity company or the people who just wanted to be the landlord, some form of hyper-capitalist, um, when they needed muscle, who did they tap into? A, a right-wing MAGA group as the bad guys. What show were y'all watching? Yellowstone was never meant to be something for the, the Make America Great Again crowd. It's not what it is. Look, I understand that everybody that watches this show, every guy who watches this show, you think you're rip. If you didn't catch any of this and all of a sudden got offended and got upset because somebody on Twitter told you to be mad about an animal rights activist character, you're not rip, you're Jimmy. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.